Hey guys, welcome back to Ravenhawk Tech. In this video, I'll be creating a Linode VM. It's going to be a Fedora 33, um, and it's a request by Max Chameleon. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing your name right. Uh, in the video, we're going to go ahead and set it up to be a remote access VPN using OpenVPN. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and create a Linode, and I'm gonna set it to be Fedora 33. I'm going to select my region. In this case, I'm doing Dallas, Texas, but you can do it anywhere that you would like it to be. Go ahead and give it a name. In this case, I'm just doing VPN test, and I'm going to give the tags of demo and test. You can name it whatever you want for easy identification. Now, I'm going to give it a root password here, but you can also set it up your SSH keys, which you can do right here just by adding an SSH key. All right, create. Now I've sped this up, uh, this next part up here because it usually takes just a little bit for it to set it up. All right. Let's go ahead and copy the IP and go to PuTTY. In this next part, we're going to do the installation of the OpenVPN. We're going to want to go ahead and make sure the VM is up to date. Now, I've already done this, but just to show you, it's DNFS or DNF update. And go ahead and let it run its update. Now, DNF install OpenVPN and easy RSA. Go ahead and hit yes. Next step we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and disable SE Linux. So we're going to go to Etsy, SE Linux, config. We're going to change enforcing to disabled. And we're going to go ahead and reboot. Signing back in after the reboot. And remember to use my correct password. What we're going to do is we're going to check the SE status and you can see it's disabled. Next we're going to go ahead and make the directory for the certificate files and the installation scripts. We're going to go to that directory and we're going to go ahead and copy the uh, files from the user share EZRSA3 directory to the Etsy OpenVPN EZRSA folder. Next, we're going to go ahead and start a new PKI. Build a uh, CA certificate, and this will prompt you for the encryption password and the server common name. And we're now we're going to generate the Defi Hellman. Hellman. Defi Hellman? Yeah. One of those things. It's used during the TLS handshake with connecting clients. All right, we're going to go ahead and build the server no pass key. Go ahead and we can generate the client key next.
I have to put a passkey in for that one too. Alright, now in case you need to invalidate a previously signed certificate, generate a re the vocational script. Certificate, I mean. And then now we're going to go ahead and generate the TLS SSL pre shared authentication key. Copy the certificate uh, keys to the server configuration directory. That's it. You're done for this part. Stay tuned for part two of this where we go ahead and configure the VPN up for remote access. Alright guys, hopefully it'll be up soon.